Are you looking for gaming experiences on the go that are far more cumbersome than phones? My name is Token and I'm going to show you the top 6 games you can play on your laptop. Remember all these are my opinion. Now to pass the laptop test, these games must run well at lower resolutions, be Mac compatible, yes I'm running on a Mac, work well with trackpads and have reasonable file sizes, so in no particular order, it's a classic, parents think it's the cause of all the atrocities in the world, is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now this isn't a game I played until recently and I'm so glad I found it, the graphics are dated, the audio makes my ears secrete blood, hey wait up! But it's just so much fun. While on an average laptop you can't run it past 720p, it's still worth the battery life. Who needed to get that essay done anyway? Not me! <laughs> At number 5 on our list, completely avoiding number 3, it's Half-Life 2. This has a brilliant, immersive storyline, but who cares about that when you get to shoot metal objects into zombies, paint the walls with blood, desecrate the dead. It's fun and kid-friendly. And the best part is, it's laptop friendly too. It's 6 gigabytes large, runs on the source engine, which the microwave could probably power, and easily runs at over 60 on my Mac. Yeah. Blasphemy! Next up is the only game rated for teens where you can torture your own creations with a fun variety of methods. It's The Sims 4. Whether you recreate your own virtual self and get that perfect job you know you deserve, or perhaps you prefer to follow down a family lineage, killing them off in creative ways. If only they knew. It's by far the most replayable game in the list, and looks great even at the lowest settings. As a cursor game, it feels great with the trackpad and the file is a cool 10 gigabytes. so Pippers please. This is undeniably the most cynical game on the list. You are a checkpoint officer in the fictional Eastern European country, Aristotska. That is communist or fascist or something, I don't know. While juggling not letting your family die and deciding whether to let those troublesome foreigners in, this is the perfect bureaucratic simulator for your laptop. It's very low impact and it can run on anything, so you can keep it on your laptop Penultimately, Battle Block Theater. It sometimes runs warm, but that's because it's a smoking hot pile of fun. This is the ultimate platform game. The story is gripping, almost as immense as the gameplay, that can last forever thanks to its level editor. Grab a couple of controllers and you can play with friends too. If you have any friends, I mean everyone, everyone has controllers. This is a beautiful, minimalist dream. Mini Metro is stylized and simple, but underneath this is an intricate subway simulator. If you enjoy games such as City Skylines for their traffic management, this provides the same feelings of accomplishment when you have that perfect clockwork network. You will likely spend less time on this than the previous games on the list, but that's because it's perhaps the most suited to a portable platform. You feel satisfied no matter how long the game. So let me know what you think of this list, whether you agree or disagree, and what your favorite laptop games are down in the comments. So that has been my top 6 video games for laptop and my first video in over a year. Thank you so much for watching. I will now be releasing regular uploads again now I've finally settled into university. So this has been Token. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. Catch you later, guys.